with the move to the cloud, developers are having to think a lot more about how they're managing instances, how they basically manage the infrastructure, how they're scaling, they're thinking of building distributed applications. So the lives of developers have actually become a little difficult with all this happening, right? What serverless enables is the developers don't have to think about that. So one of our focuses is around open source serverless platform. It's called FN Project. So that's something we've been working on for a while. Uh, it's out there, a bunch of people are using it. Uh, and Oracle's one of the major contributors. We also have external contributors on that. The whole focus of that platform is basically to provide an open source way of people to do serverless. And the second thing we're doing is we're taking that platform and we're basing a hosted managed service based on that platform, which is running on Oracle's cloud infrastructure. So which kind of gives you the ability to run things in open source, run it on locally, run it in your own data centers, but if you want to move to Oracle's managed version of serverless, it kind of gives a seamless transition to that. What about, you know, people want to write serverless functions in different languages. Yeah. How do they chain these languages together and what about, like, you know, having SDKs for different languages? Yeah. So there's two different points over there. So one major one is having the support for different languages, mm -hmm. right? So the approach we've taken is we've taken a container native approach which means that at the end of the day, our functions are built as containers. So we provide the tooling for five different languages that you can use our tooling to actually build functions in those languages. But if we don't have a support for a language, you can actually just adhere to our container format and build your own container and run that as a function, right? And the second one you kind of brought about was how we have different functions being able to call uh, functions from different languages. That's pretty simple again, because we, again, we've gone for a container uh, model mm -hmm. where these functions are defined as containers. So at the end of the day, that's the boundary defined, right? So if another container is running another language and one function calls that, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Can you give me a customer example who's benefited from being able to leverage this kind of uh, uh, thought process? What was the use case? What was the business problem? And how did they go about addressing it? University of Bristol actually is a good example. Mm. So they're doing a bunch of good stuff in life sciences. So what they're essentially doing is they're, uh, they're building a system for molecular simulation. And they're using these simulations to come up with molecules that can be used as vaccines for various diseases, right? But to do these molecular simulations, they essentially need a lot of bursty HPC workloads, high performance computers. Yes. So that's how they actually do the simulations. So they are running the core services on top of Kubernetes. They're actually using Oracle's managed uh, Kubernetes offering to run that. But when they get these workloads to do the simulations, they need to burst load out. So to be able to do that, they're essentially using uh, FN Project and uh, they're using FN Project that's running on multiple different clouds. Well, Varun, thank you so much. This is a wonderful conversation. It looks like, you know, Oracle's doing some cool stuff with serverless and people should give fnproject.io a try. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks.